Guys, welcome back. Part three of treating the neck or getting some neck pain uh, relief. And this uh, third section we wanna work on improving rotation of the neck, okay? So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Voodoo Band, which these are available on, on Rogue Fitness. It was uh, Kelly Strett uh, invented this. These are awesome for a number of different things. Um, I like to use this for rotational uh, movements at, at the neck and uh, being able to facilitate some of that with uh, some, some passive movement that you, you actually apply the movement yourself, but your neck isn't actually moving on its own, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. So first of all, uh, we're gonna take the voodoo band and they come in about seven foot segments. What we wanna actually do is fold it in half and then fold it in half again, okay? So we'll end up with the band kind of doubled up um, and about this width. You can also use a, uh, a towel or a, a, a dish towel, something, something like that, and you can roll it up and do the same thing. I like these because it, it, actually, it actually adheres and kind of sticks to the skin really well, so we can get a little bit more um, shear force through there and not just uh, have it slide around the back of your neck. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it, we're gonna put it at the base of the neck, okay, so it's gonna be kind of in this area, right where the shirt and the neck meet. We're gonna do two different techniques, okay? The first one is going to be whatever direction that we turn, we're gonna pull the opposite direction, okay? So if you think about it, those uh, segments sit on top of each other like this. They're connected with a disc and then a joint on either side called the set joint. Well, when we rotate, those segments will turn together, but we also have accessory movements where we need them, the actual facet joints to be able to slide on each other as well, okay? So that's what we're trying to improve here is the sliding in those joints. So we're gonna actually rotate to one side, and if I turn to the right, I'm gonna pull down to the left at about a 45 degree angle, okay? So I'm gonna turn to the right, pull to the left, and this is something where we're just gonna repeat it. We're not gonna hold it at end range or hold it at this position for a long period of time, we're gonna turn, pull, let it relax. Turn, pull, let it relax. So you're gonna do 30 this direction, or turn it to the right, and then 30 to the left, okay? And what you can do is you can work up to the middle of the neck, and you can even work up to the kind of the base of it as well. And that, that gets a little bit tougher, you kinda of have to put your hand down here when you pull. But try those three segments, 30 at each one, look one direction, pull the other, okay? The second part is where we're gonna actually uh, facilitate the rotation um, with, a, with a passive movement, meaning we're actually gonna move ourselves in rotation with the band. So here's what we're gonna do. We've got a kind of stability side and a movement side, okay? So if I'm trying to turn my head to the left, then I'm gonna stabilize on the left, and I'm gonna use the right side as my movement side. And what I wanna do is I wanna pull the band basically up to the corner of my eye, that direction, as I look over my shoulder, okay? And again, I'm holding here to stabilize, and I'm using my right hand to move my neck until I feel like I get to kind of the end of that movement and then let it relax. And this is what it's gonna look like. So we kind of just hold for a second, let it relax, okay? If you come up to the base of the skull and you get a little bit higher up, the movement arm is not gonna be angled quite as high. It's actually gonna be angled more parallel with the ground, okay? So we'll still stabilize here. We'll just bring this hand directly across, okay? So we're gonna try that on both sides. So down at the bottom, if I'm looking to the right, then I'm using my left hand to create movement. Hold for a second, move up higher, hold, turn, and I'm gonna do that about 30 times on each side as well. So try both of those. The rotation of the neck is very uh, difficult for people to get back, especially if you've slept on your neck wrong, or maybe you've gotten a little, uh, little bit of an, an a, uh, accident where you've actually had a, a minor whiplash injury. Um, these are kind of simple ways to get some range of motion return, and return, return range of motion equals decreased pain. Okay, so guys, Try this stuff out. Let us know how it works out. Leave us a comment if you got any questions. And uh, good luck with that neck pain.